I don't want to really involve myself in a viewer's experience. I want. I mean, this is it. Let them experience on their own. How did you come up with the idea of, of creating this bench? I just remember looking at one of these benches, like the one we're sitting on right now, and thinking of mirroring it. And if I mirrored it, what kind of new form would, would, it, would it take? And how it would become a container of sorts, like a cradle or like a coffin. It, it really looks amazing, and the detail work with, with the metal uh, arms is it, so detailed. How did you get the arm to kind of look like the existing well, park bench arm? What I did was I contacted a foundry in Arkansas that actually produces cast aluminum parts, and they provided me with the original pieces that I then cut apart and re-welded together and fabricated some components to make those, those pieces. They're uh, the exact same pieces as these, uh, same shape anyway. Oh, that's really interesting. So anybody could call up a foundry and start making all kinds of things. <laughs> you could, right. Yep. Actually, <laughs> the park department wanted to hire me because you couldn't see the welds in the piece. He's like, I, I, I figured you must have welded it together, but I couldn't see the welds. How did you do it? I want to give you a job. You know, it was pretty fun. Uh, it's nice to watch, but let people just have their own experience without me sort of telling them about it, what they should think or what they should do, you know. So. Um, that's one of the things about the piece, like even the little sign over there, which is far enough away, I wanted it to be even more inconspicuous because, again, because the object exists sort of in the real world, like you're like, well, it's like a real, they're real aluminum, they're real metal, they're real wood, it's like a real bench, but it's not, it's sort of official. Uh, the minute I think people see some objects as a, um, an art object, they, they can kind of dismiss it. Or they feel like, well, I don't understand it because it's contemporary art and nobody understands contemporary art, you know. But if you give it to them blank like this, they're, they'll just stop and they'll look and they're like, huh, you know. And I like that ability of an object in the real world as opposed to a gallery object or something like that. That it, it, it exists on a different plane sometimes, you know. Especially without it announcing itself as something other than just a counterpart to the other ones, you know, the other benches. I didn't really want to have... A, uh, the arms in the middle, even though all the other benches around the pond do have arms in the middle, because I wanted you to be able to, even if you didn't get into it, imagine a person or a body lying in the center of this piece. I haven't actually been in the park bench since it's been here at the pond. This will be a first for me. <laughs> so is this a serving suggestion? <laughs> this is a serving suggestion, yep. That's my disclaimer. It's actually pretty nice. It's a little, you know, for some people, a bit a little narrow for your shoulders, but uh, it's a good place to look up at the tree. Reporting from Matthew Hensman's bench in Jamaica Pond in Boston, it's Steve Garfield for Rocket Boom.